in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up your trading view. So once you've opened an account and you've signed in, your chart is going to look something like this. So the first thing that we do is we come over here and we right click on this volume bars and we remove that volume indicator. We don't need it. Okay. The second thing that we are going to do is right click on the chart go into settings and within settings you go into appearance okay appearance right here go into gradient so we have two settings here solid or gradient so how my chart is set up is that i have a gradient and i click on white and then i select this shade of gray just like that click ok so now your chart is looking something like this now we are going to change the color of our candlesticks. Right click on the chart, go into settings, go into symbol. Once you're in the symbol, you click, you find where you have body, borders and wick. Okay, so you remove this last, deselect this last section. Nothing else should be highlighted. Go into where the body is and select blue. This is our bullish candle. So as you can see right here, all the candles going up, they're now blue. That's our bullish candle, which means the price is going in the upwards direction. Now you select the second square, which is now red. You make it black and every other box, every other square will be black as well. So the only square that is going to be blue is the first one to the left top left is blue everything else is black once you've done that click ok so now your chart is looking like this the reason i advise everybody to copy this color scheme is that the color scheme is quite neutral and when everybody has the same color scheme and they're sharing their analysis with each other they can actually understand quicker what exactly you are sharing so for that reason this is like our uniform we all have the same color scheme so when we are sharing our trade ideas our analysis our zones all of us are on the same frequency and we know what is happening on the forex charts this is the reason so now the next step is to right click on the chart click settings and go to appearance whilst you're in the appearance go to vertical grid lines and make the opacity go down all the way to zero and then go to horizontal grid lines click on this square and make sure that your opacity is all the way down to zero just like that and then right underneath you have session breaks session breaks make sure you select that select that make that black once you make that black select dashed or dotted line so now on this chart you can see that we have this session break separators okay what they do is that they separate the day each of these lines is where the day starts and ends 24 hours in a day 24 hours in a day we are on one age time frame so each of these candlesticks 24 hours in between each dashed line just like so so now you know exactly where the day starts and where the day ends. So currently it's Wednesday. This is Tuesday. That's Monday. That's Friday. So now we are going to remove this buy and sell buttons. We are going to right click on the charts, go into settings, go to trading section right here and deselect buy and sell buttons right there. And finally, we are going to remove this section over here which is describing the open, high, low, and close of GBP Swiss franc. Right click on the chart, go into status line. And as we deselect all the sections, you're going to see that section disappearing. So right there, your chart is now ready. It's super clean. And now you can actually understand what is happening within the price action in a better way. So you can see that right here, the time is ticking down. We are on one hour time frame. What this is over here is that it is a countdown. So on a one H, this is the countdown until this candle closes. If we jump down to 15 minute time frame, 
then there's 48 seconds until this current candle is going to close so the market is live the price is always moving and each candle as it's printing itself on the charts it has a countdown timer what that does is that it helps you know when to enter when the candle is going to close so it will help you in the future so i will just leave it like so and the last thing that we need to remove is the symbol last price symbol last price right click on the chart go to scales and deselect symbol last price this is it your chart is now ready um, if you want to change your current currency pit all you have to do is click on the section over here and then let's just say that we want euro gbp you type euro gbp and then you select one of this currency pairs so the one that i've been using for such a long time is oanda so i always click on oanda oanda is a very good broker and it provides very good uh price levels very accurately it hasn't let me down so euro gbp oanda is the broker there you go we are currently on euro gbp and if you want to familiarize yourself with trading view just play around with it in your own time it is a very great platform if you want to save this layout now i'm not going to do that because i already have a saved layout called txa all you have to do is go to the top section right click this arrow and rename this chart and save it save it wherever you need to click on this um, icon and this layout will be saved that concludes this video your chart should be looking clean and pristine i'll see you guys in the next one take care